So you might be watching this video on a different day other than Saturday, which might be shocking to you, but I figured I wanted to get this video up as soon as possible. For the past couple of weeks, I have been tagged to check out this TikTok creators page, to which I am completely horrified by. So in order to film this video, I went on my TikTok and I went to search up their page. To my dismay, they blocked me. Now, I have never interacted with this account before. I've never commented. I've never went and looked at their stuff until today. So what this means is that I was being tagged so much on their lives and TikToks that the creator didn't like it and just went ahead and blocked me because they don't care about hamsters. They care about all of the views that they're getting on TikTok. Now you're probably wondering, okay, well, what does this content creator make? You know, what's so bad about them? So for the majority of the time, I'm pretty sure they just do like live streaming on TikTok. Um, and I'm pretty sure when you live stream on TikTok, you can generate quite a lot of revenue. People can like donate. I don't quite know how live streaming on TikTok works, but I do know that you can make money off of it. And these lives get a lot of views. This content creator has 300,000 followers. Um, so let's just look at one of the videos here, for example. Here's the first video that I'm just looking at. Here we have what appears to be, I want to say three or four Roboroski dwarves. No, there's d four, four Roboroski dwarf hamsters and then a juvenile hybrid dwarf hamster. For anybody who doesn't know, all species of hamster in captivity are solitary. They can severely injure and even kill each other. They are very territorial. Um, I don't know if you just saw that, but the two Robos kind of just got into a little fit with each other because they're both trying to use the same wheel. Well, when you've got five different hamsters in a cage and you have two wheels, like obviously there's bound to be some bickering like that. Hamsters are also not breeds. So they're not like a Labrador and a Chihuahua. Like those are two dog breeds and they can get along just fine. Hamsters are different species. So a hybrid dwarf hamster and a Roboroski hamster are not the same breed. And just because they're dwarfs doesn't make them the same. They are two different species. They should never, ever be housed together. Here we have another example. This time we have even more hamsters in what looks to be the same sized enclosure. So we've got like one, two, three, four. I can't even keep count. Five five Roboroski dwarfs, and then we have one, two, three, I don't know how many hybrid dwarf hamsters, again, just mixed together. And you can tell, you can visibly tell, these are different aged hamsters. So obviously they are breeding their own hamsters. They've also got a apple, just a full apple in the enclosure. <laughs> There's so many things. I'm not even trying to nitpick at this point. I'm extremely disappointed because TikTok is actually pretty decent at just taking things down with no explanation. I've watched so many creators who do live streams on TikTok just get banned because like for no reason at all. So why when something is actually wrong, TikTok does literally absolutely nothing with it and it's allowed to stay up. This also isn't me just trying to be like a fun killer or anything like that. This person genuinely does not care about hamster care. And it is obvious by the fact that they clearly don't listen to anybody that's commented anything. And they blocked me. I've never interacted with them. They blocked me because I probably was getting mentioned too many times in their comments and they didn't like that. The other thing that I am going to mention is the wheels that they have placed in the enclosures and the reason that they use these wheels. For this reason, exactly. Roboroskis are one of the fastest domesticated species of hamster. Um, and so they run really, really fast and they can pick up pace 
quickly. So when they are running in a flying saucer wheel like so, a lot of the times they will just suddenly stop running. Um, and because the wheel is so fast, it is going to keep going in motion with the hamster on them, which ends up they go, they're like stuck on the wheel going like this, or they will end up flying off. Now, this behavior is thought to be really funny, and that is why these live streams get so many views, because people think it's hilarious when you have multiple Roboroski hamsters running on these wheels, and then they stop, and they're flying around and getting thrown. For some reason, people find that funny, but it's not. It's incredibly dangerous, because look at right here. That hamster just got stepped on multiple times and then thrown off and, like, there's nothing to soften their cushion. It does like they could hit something that like hurts them. It's really not that hard to injure yourself when you're flying off of something like that. A lot of these TikToks also have their comments turned off and you may wonder why. Well, that's because there were probably so many angry people that were commenting or even giving kind advice, which I don't think this person deserves any kindness. Um, but they just went ahead and turned them off because they didn't they didn't want to hear about it. On the occasion that comments are turned on, a lot of them are just really ignorant people that just they don't it's they don't know anything about hamsters. They can't be blamed. This person says, That seems fun. I wish I was a hamster. You really don't. <laughs> he was a bit disorientated after the landing, laughing emoji. Yeah, no kidding. Are you not disorientated after you run in circles and make yourself dizzy? Now, what I'm getting with with the conclusion of this video is that people and accounts like this cannot be helped. There is no, oh, just talk to them nicely, give them advice. This person doesn't want advice. This person does not care about their hamsters. It is very obvious. So now what can you really do about accounts and creators like this? Because at times it feels very hopeless, especially when you get blocked. Now, when you come across an account or a creator like this one, first things to do, don't interact with their content. Don't favorite or like their videos. Don't comment on them. This person is far gone from accepting advice and all your comment is going to do is just boost their content. Instead, when you come across an account like this, all you're going to want to do is just go ahead and report them. Now, unfortunately, TikTok doesn't seem to have an animal abuse category, so you're either going to want to report them for other or pick one of the many categories in here. I'm not sure exactly what this would be considered because it's a hard thing. I would probably just report them under other and that's all you have to do. And then you can block the account and leave. Now, unfortunately, this person is already prepared to lose their account because they have a second backup account. And all you're gonna wanna do here is go report and also report to their account because this type of content does not belong on TikTok. So that's all I really wanted to come on here to say. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks, this person's count will no longer exist because this is just not okay. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.